Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the surface area of 3D shapes. Uh, this is the first of two videos on this topic uh, and in this video we'll be covering the surface area of pyramids and of cones. Uh, so to calculate the surface area of any shape uh, you just need to calculate the area of each individual face and then add them all together. So in a pyramid uh, there's a base, uh, so we'll label that base, uh, and then there are four triangular faces in this case because it's a square based pyramid so there's this one at the back let's call that one there's this one at the side here let's call that two the one on the front three and then the one on the left hand side four uh, so the total surface area is going to be four times the area of the triangular face which is a half times base times height uh, plus the area of the base uh, which is just base times base uh, so that's how to calculate the volume of, uh, sorry, the surface area of a pyramid. Uh, so let's look at how to calculate the surface area of a cone now. So in a cone, there are two faces. Uh, there's the sort of slanted or curved face across the top. Uh, so let's calculate the surface area of that first. Uh, so the formula we need for that is pi r l. So that gives us the area of the curved face. Uh, and then we also need the area of the circular face on the bottom. And once again, the area of a circle is pi r squared. Uh, so the total area of the cone equals pi r l plus pi r squared. So let's have a look at a couple of examples now. So example one, find the surface area of the square base pyramid shown below. The slanted height of the triangular face is eight centimeters. Uh, well, it's a square base pyramid, uh, so we can calculate the area of the square base uh, by just doing area, let's call it area of the base, uh, equals five times five, uh, since that's the, uh, the area of a square. So that gives us 25 centimeters squared. Uh, and then next we need to work out the area of one of the triangular faces. So the area of one face, we'll call it, uh, is just the area of a triangle, which is half times the base times the height. Now the base of the triangle is five centimeters so it's a half times five and the slanted height is what we're going to use and we've been given that as eight centimeters uh, so a half times five times eight gives us 20 centimeters squared and then all we do now is we multiply this value by four seeing as though there are one two three four faces uh, so four times 20 equals 80 centimeters squared. So that's the area of all four faces. Uh, so now for the area, the total area of the pyramid, uh, we add the area of the base to the area of the four triangular faces. So that is 80 plus 25, which is 105 centimeters squared. So on to example two now. Uh, this is the surface area of a cone. So find the surface area of the cone shown below. Uh, well, the formula we need for the area of a cone is pi r squared, so that's the area of the circular base, plus pi r l, and that's the area of the slanted or curved face. Uh, so if we plug our values in, we get pi times r squared, which is 40 and it's squared, uh, plus pi times 40, uh, which is the radius, times l, which is the slanted height, which is 55. Uh, so if we add all those together, then we get a value of 11,938.1 meters squared. So that's an answer to one decimal place. So if you want to practice this topic or see some exam style questions on the surface area of 3D shapes, uh, why not have a go at our online exam? You can get there through our revision platform. Uh, you'll find loads of different questions. There's a variety of different question types and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below and it'll take you straight there.